In this problem, we have a rhombus. The long diagonal is 5 centimeters longer than the short diagonal, and the area is given. The question wants to know the length of the short diagonal. The first thing we're going to do is define our variables in the form of x and an expression in x. Since the long diagonal is 5 centimeters longer than the short one, we can define x as the length of the short diagonal, the question that was asked for at the end of the problem, and therefore x plus 5 must be equal to the length of the long diagonal. Let's make a little drawing so that we can see what our rhombus would look like. The short diagonal is in blue and the long diagonal in red. Now we can make our equation. We have to know the area formula for a rhombus, and it looks like this. d, small diagonal, times d, long diagonal, over 2, equals a, area. Let's fill in this formula with our variables as defined. We get x times x plus 5 over 2 equals 25. Simplifying, I get x squared plus 5x over 2 equals 25. And then, if I multiply both sides of the equation by 2, x squared plus 5x equals 50. And finally, x squared plus 5x minus 50 equals 0. I have a quadratic equation. I just have to solve for the zeros now. And I can do this by using the quadratic formula, or in this case, I can do it by factoring. Factor this trinomial gives x minus 5 times x plus 10 equals 0. If we do the split, we have x minus 5 equals 0 or x plus 10 equals 0, and therefore x equals 5 or negative 10. At this point, we are ready to answer our question. Since we defined x as the length of the short diagonal at the beginning, the short diagonal is 5 centimeters long. Of course, we can figure out the length of the long diagonal since we define the length of the long diagonal as x plus 5, it will be 10 centimeters long. The negative root that we throw away has the same value but the opposite sign as the length of the long diagonal, and this will always happen. This is how we use the quadratic formula or factoring to solve a geometry problem in quadratic functions.